हेलो वेलकम बैक वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद द पार्ट थ्री ऑफ वाईफाई लाइट स्विच इन दिस पार्ट विल लर्न हाउ टू प्रोग्राम और ट्रांसफर द एस एस आई डी एंड पासवर्ड ऑफ योर वाई फाई नेटवर्क होम वाई फाई नेटवर्क और ऑफिस वाई फाई नेटवर्क टू दिस डिवाइस सिंस दिस डिवाइस पैनल डजेंट हैव एनी की बोर्ड और स्क्रीन सो वी विल यूज द सेम एप्लीकेशन Uh, to uh, we have given a feature into the application where you can this device can connect to this particular uh, mobile phone and we can uh, use uh, type the ssid and password and transfer it into the uh, lighting control device wifi lighting control device so uh, let's now first uh, download the application go on the play store search it for fox do you can see the application we'll search the fox domotics application uh, we'll go into the application install the application it's getting downloaded now we'll start its installing now we'll open the application as you can see it's a blank screen so there is no setting right now to this application Uh, we'll download these settings from the cloud server, which we have seen in an earlier video. Uh, earlier video, uh, how to set uh, those things. I will just enter the password. Here I have entered uh, user ID and password. Now I will just sign in. You will get two options over here. So first of all, we need to sing the data from the server. It will take few seconds. once it is done uh, the slider will be will get a message it's completed successfully yeah saying completed successfully we'll go back now once we uh, have done uh, thinking of data come uh, successfully uh, if i go back open the application i can see the living room and everything all data has come now to transfer the ssid and password uh, we need to again re log in into the device once again once i log in i will now select hotspot so this is the screen which actually uh, help us to uh, send the ssid and password and the ip to this device so there are three buttons at the top open access point close access point scan client and then there at uh, down there is a save button and in the down side it will show the messages what is happening the first step to do this is just power off this device and take out the panel this glass panel from the top so little hard keep it aside now power on the device again once power on is done you can see this button uh this is to set up the device in configuration mode so we'll press once so you can see yellow light blinking alternately it should blink for at least 10 to 12 times once uh, it is done it now the system has entered into configuration mode configuration mode means you can see red and green both are blinking means this uh, wifi device is now searching for a new wifi network which is the hotspot of your mobile after login we can see the same two menu we'll go into the hotspot you can see all three buttons here entering the it ssid and password and then selecting the ip which we have entered on the cloud panel so right now i will click on open access point so oh if it is not happening so i'll just go inside and uh, enable the hotspot as i enable the hotspot i can see the green light stops build 
that means now this is connected to this device if I scan client I can see an IP address over here and Wi-Fi AP access point state enabled so Wi-Fi access point state is enabled and I can see an IP address now I will type the SSID of uh, the router uh, to which this device is going to connect so right now in my case my router SSID is Netis and the password is you have to enter the password it is case sensitive we need to enter correct password green light stops blinking and you can see there are so many message over here we'll do scan client once once the scan client is done you can see an uh, Wi-Fi AP state enabled and uh, IP address okay now we'll just uh, select the uh, put the SSID password and the IP will select the IP and uh, click on save once I click on save uh, this orange light should blink at least uh, 10 to 12 time but now if I click on save it's just blinking one time and uh, just going off this means we need to power off this device and repower on after say five, 4 to 5 seconds and then redo the same procedure we'll just wait for uh, 4 to 5 seconds now I'll just power on this device now after doing the power on since hotspot is enabled it is automatically connected now if I click on save now you can see orange uh, yellow light blink at least 10 to 12 times but uh, it has uh, um, still uh, the data has not been transferred successfully we will re redo it so let's repower on power off and power on this device we need to wait for uh, two 5 seconds now we will power on this device and click on save button now see now you can see there are uh, LED light is blinking for 10 to 12 times um, this means the data is being successfully transferred from uh, the mobile uh, to this device now even though if we close the hotspot from here the hotspot is disabled but still this is connected because uh, the router is on this router is on and now this is connected to the programmed uh, netis router the ssid and password which we i have uh, put in into it okay so this has been successfully done now we'll uh, move back and uh, start controlling this device uh, first we'll connect to the netis uh, network uh, we'll enable the Wi-Fi to Netis. We'll connect to Netis. The same network. Once it is done, we'll go in living room. We can control the light. We can dim it. Do all of. So this is the procedure how you transfer the SSID and password into the Wi-Fi light control system. Thanks, thanks for viewing this video and um, thanks once again from Fox Domotics Private Limited.